Okay, so I'm using this five pan palette, and this is the palette I'm taking all the colors from. These are all my collection for Inglot, and we're going to be making dual palettes with these. And it's easy to do. You could do this with any other company, and usually they have all the colors you really need. You don't really need in-between colors. You can always mix colors as well, so don't forget about that. Now we're going to um, we are going to do the Tarte Pro Remix palette in this five pan. Now I say in this five pan because most of the colors are neutral tans that I don't really need or want or care for. So I'm reducing it to the challenge of five pans. This time the Jeffree Star one I kind of wanted to see more colors with it and it kind of looks nice. But let's do five pans for this Pro Tarte Remix. Now we're skipping all of the all of the transfer shades, maybe I'll have one transfer shade because it looks like everything is shiny. So did it really have a transfer shade? The one that pops out is that purple. And of course I have that purple. I use it for the Jeffree Star dupe one. This is 392. Um, next I see that kind of... No, I don't want any champagnes. You get enough champagnes. Really. Maybe one... Maybe one shape. I don't know. Um, for that green, I have this kind of green that I kind of want in this palette. You know, it's one of those shiny ones. And this one is 32. And oh my god. Yeah, I went it in. Let's go for that orange one. And I'm going for a matte orange one. What else pokes out at me? Oh, that light blue. And I do have that light blue. Or should I go for the... I'm going for the deep blue. I am going for the deep blue. This one is 428. Let's put the light blue in there. Other than missing the yellow, which I kind of skipped. Other than missing this color in that palette, it pretty much looks like it other... Oh, and there's also a, a bronzy red or a deep red one. You get that in every palette. Same thing with champagne, which is why I didn't put it in there. Um, let's mix this up and see what kind of story we get with it. I'm going to show you my process, but I don't have the double camera like every beauty guru I'm going to have. Like, <laughs> like, I'm not that rich. Also, I'm using this. That's what you're hearing. Hmm. Now, obviously, the deepest color goes at the end. So, you're going to do that. And they're the purple. Because I feel like if you blend with that purple, it will not get too muddy as with the other ones. This blue goes next to this. Here is the color story. I like it. <laughs> the deep in the eyes, even though it has a little sheen to it, it's not that much. It's like a hint of sheen. And this could be like in the middle of the eye. Um, and this could be the highlight for all of them, including these two. Uh, this will be the deep in. This will be like the the lightness of your eye, you know, more orange, even though it's like a berry almost, but not really. I don't know how to explain it, and this could be in the inner corners. Um, you can also mismatch, like, the red and blue, if you are careful with it, you can do it. Or this on the outer of the eyes, and then this in the highlight. I can see how I can make a look out of this. Uh, maybe one day in the future when I'm doing these palettes, I could just make it like an eye look or something. Something simple. Because I'm doing multiple palettes uh, video, there's no way I'm doing that. No way. I forgot to mention the reason I don't want to buy that Tarte, um, the Tarte Pro Remix. The reason I don't want to buy the Tarte Pro, the reason I don't want to buy the Tarte Pro Remix, the Tartiest Pro Remix. Too much shinies. I really don't like the design of it. It's too confusing, and you know, basically what everyone else says. If they were in bigger pants, maybe, but no. And it's obvious why I don't want to buy the Jeffree Star one. Okay, next is the Disney Designer Collection. The reason I want to buy it because it's boring. It, when I see it, when I see it, it looks boring, and I hate it. <laughs> I really don't like it. I think I'm gonna include the other colors, the the one in the pan. I think they're like the shock ones, whatever. The singles into the palette I'm making for it, even though it's only five. And there's. Uh oh, there are six girls. 
There's six girls and I'm picking five colors. Okay, let's do the five now and I can always add this later. Because I can always do that. <laughs> I love the system for Inglot. Okay, obviously we need a transfer color. So I'm going to pick my transfer color because everything in that palette is transfer colors and warm transfer colors and some neutral transfer colors. This is my transfer color, which is 303. So we're putting that in first. There's also a lighter color. Mm, I don't really care for lighter colors, but I guess this time I could put the peach. Oh, actually, no, no. I like orange, but there's no oranges there. There's like peaches. There's like peaches and gray tones. So let's put the peach in. Now time to get to the colors. I am not doing gold. Gold is in every palette. I have basically gold highlighter I could use for gold. And it's the same thing with like transfer colors though most palettes don't come with transfer colors for me which is why I'm adding it all right so we're going to skip that and go to the purples um I guess we'll go for the princess kind of themes so a more lighter purple you know more dusty purple I'm using this a lot 392 that's the thing with this you know with the system you're going to be using the same shades a lot because that's what they're doing <laughs> they're using the same shades um there is that pencil -y, uh silver. I'm gonna go for the pencil -y brown. I'm gonna mix them two together. Like it's grayish, but it's more on a brown side. Like pencil shavings, but more brown. And this is it. And this one is called 419. I put that in there. Ooh, it's pretty. Um hmm. I already have a pink in there. Or a peach. I don't really need pink, do I? We could do that later. But the first color I looked at was that kind of jasmine-y color, which is... <laughs> I can't get it out, which is this one. This is the first thing I've seen, <laughs> and I want it. This is what it came out to be. You know what? I love it. I kind of... This is basically all the colors, if you just lighten it and darken it. You know, it has all those pinks. Like, I don't have a, I have a pink pink, but should I replace... You know what? Maybe I should replace the pink with the peach. Like, what if we do this? Kind of like it more. But this could transfer and be a color. This could also transfer on my skin color. It's too close to the purple. I want something bright in there <laughs> for once. So let me reorganize this into a color story if I need to. Okay, I kind of love that the pink and blue is on opposite sides, kind of like if you're like a girly pink or if you're like a girly blue. I know colors don't think, but let's just, just go with it, you know, with the mind of the human. And I kind of like the purple in the middle, like, alright, so if you don't like blue or pink, you like purple, and it's right there. And then everything else is like transfer or, you know, to highlight, not highlight, just give some sheen or just go at the end of your eyes, whatever. I mean, we need some kind of shiny color. I have a lot of mattes. I like mattes. This is the cutest palette ever. <laughs> you want to eat it. It's so good. I like it. I love it. I love it. The, the more I do these palette kind of stories, the more I love the kind of palette design. And that's kind of bad because I think the one bad thing about this is um, unless you're using this every day, you might want to do another color story. Now, Maybe you could do the color story inside here and organize them the way you want. And then, you know, if you want to color from this color story, you put up here. Like, this kind of look like the reason I bought these shadows was because I couldn't afford the, um, what's it called? Viseart palette. And these are basically the Viseart palette. Um, so I could just mix colors and put it there. I didn't organize it. That just happened. So... Uh, I love it. I'm gonna do a bit different. This is the Infinity Deep palette by Linda Heldemer. It's mostly about the cover of the palette. Everything else is browns and whatever and boring on the inside, but the cover of it looks so vibrant and so, oh, it looks like an alien. So that's what I'm gonna base this palette on. This five pan palette is gonna be based mostly on the cover and transfer color because I don't even know why I took it out the palette. The palette definitely have some teal, but I'm going to do the dark teal because it's like kind of smoky in there. 
Oh, let's put that in there. Um, there are yellows on, on the, 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 the cover. I keep wanting to say palette. I'm sorry. The cover. So we're going to, instead of yellow, I'm going to mix the yellow with green. Because there's also green on the palette. This is going to be a yellow green kind of shiny one. Though I have an extra shiny one I should use. This is more sparkly. This one's shiny. Let's get it. Also, this could replace the golds that everyone likes to put in palettes. This one is 41. It looks like that. Oh, yes. I like that purple blue. And it kind of got muddied into it. Is that or like a deep blue or... Oh, no. Oh, just like what I did with the green, I'm going to mix the blues. So it's going to be deep blue, but with a hint of like green in it. Should I do this? Because I already got that color. They look similar. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Skip that. Scratch that. Where did this go? I forgot. I'm thinking orange is on the cover. So we're going to go for this pale orange here. Okay. Now for the last color. I think I want another deep color. And like this kind of mix like the purples that's on the palette as well even though it's blue purples we have a blue in there I don't know I'm thinking I'm thinking this is the oh 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 I kind of like it let's rearrange it you ready how's this too matchy matchy hmm I don't know I don't know, maybe I should switch this for for a champagne. It is in the palette, like a champagne yellow. How is this? I mean... It's growing on me. I like the opposite blue and yellow kind of gold. It's actually just gold. Like, this looks good. On his own. So since this looks good, like it's like it's like a sunset, like a tropical sunset, almost like you're sitting on a sand sunset. Okay, I need something closer. This one's number ten. Is a champagne color. I think this is it. They all look like neutral tones when they're next to each other, but they're not really. I mean, this is kind of like like my blendy color, and this can be, but it's orange. Like this is always in other palettes. Well, this is always in other palettes. But once you put that, that's my transfer color, and then you put this, and you're like, oh, okay, okay, sunset, okay. So I have two palettes left, but I want to do one palette, and it's either by. Cavandi de Lolita palette or um, oh, Melt Weed palette. I'm going to show you how my um, Lolita palette looks like. I don't have to tell you what I'm doing. I'm just going to show you. And here is the less ashy version. And I love it. I actually, I actually love it. I think I'll switch this with this one. Yeah, let's, let's do that. I kind of like it. I kind of like the break in gradient. You know, we like gradients a lot, but uh, maybe you break it. You know, this could be its own story. I think this could be its own story, but this has to be up there. Um, but yeah, that's my Lolita palette. Like, that was the easiest one. That was, <laughs> that was no brainer. I had most of the colors, you know, kind of light, dusty. This could be more dusty, but I need color. I need color on the skin. I, I, no more ash. No more ash, peachy, dusty peaches. No more for me. No, no. And the reason I like this so much is because it fits me. I could finally use a transfer shade. I'm going to keep saying this until it gets stuck in your brain. <laughs> Us black people don't get much. And you won't know until you actually seen it happen. If you like sit next to someone, like you never know that there's foundations that's never there. Um, until you like have a friend and they ask for something and be told no and then you're like, oh yeah, 
that exists so easily for me, <laughs> but for anyone else, is a hassle. And you have to work with what you have. And guess what? I am working with what I have, I have right now. What I bought, I invested in a budget shadow so I can make my own palettes when um, companies come out with their things. Because if they don't cater to me, well, might as well cater to my damn self. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's harder, but you know what? I like doing it. It's, it's creative. I'm more involved with my makeup. And sometimes you can just sit there and be like, you know what? What color or palette I can make right now? I, I am inspired by my flower. And then you just do your own stuff and you have your own inspired flower palette. There you go. So yeah, that was my dupe of palettes I will not buy. Ever buy. Maybe I'll do dupes of palettes I really, really, really want but can't afford. <laughs> uh, Mothership. <laughs> not gonna happen. Nope. Nope. Mm, no. 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 There's a thing called a bank. There's a thing called savings. We are the poorest generation since generations were a generation. I can't put all that money on one palette. No. No. Sell singles? Fine. I'll pay for one shadow that I want. But for a whole palette, and I can't even color my whole face with it, I mean, yes, it's beautiful, but no, no. Unless it moisturize my skin as well, I don't want it. There's no reason. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I went through a whole rant there. Thank you for watching my Doritos face today. Maybe next time it's going to be, I don't know, Mountain Dew. Could be Mountain Dew. Yeah. Or maybe it's going to be Cheetos, or maybe it's going to be zebra cakes, I don't know. I Whatever I feel that day, I'm going to do. And then I might do another one of these reviews. So thank you from me and my palette, my new Black Friday palette. I love you. I love you. I made a lot of palettes with this. Just sitting here playing with this five pan. The Jeffree Star one was kind of a challenge, kind of. But since it had more um, space, that means more play. But this is a challenge, to challenge yourself. You're not going to sit there and use 10 shadows on your eyes. You're not going to use it. I use 5 shadows today on my face. This is all 5 shadows. You're not going to use 10 shadows on your face. Are you? Can you? No! Why? Why, Why do you have to waste your time? Okay, thank you. Alright, I love you. Bye-bye!